If you use Drupal, you know it's awesome. As I teach people how to use Drupal, I try and convey that all the time. I think it's one of the best content management systems out there today. And as we go through the training process and we go through content types and fields and taxonomies and all of the stuff that really makes Drupal shine, people get really excited right up until they get to designing one-off pages with an easy to use page builder. Because that's what marketers need. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I wanna cover the idea of page builders in Drupal. Now, if you've been around Drupal 8 or 9, you know that Layout Builder is now in core. But I gotta be honest, Layout Builder out of the box, while it's an easy thing to build you know, a one-off landing page, there's no styling, there's no padding, there's no add-on components that you can add magically and make layouts appear. It's still pretty primitive. Yes, there are a ton of add-on modules to Drupal Layout Builder, and they're actually pretty awesome as well. But it's on the site builder, site administrator's plate to pull all of that together. And honestly, it can take weeks of development for any given site. So I want to cover a few of the page builders that have come out in response to this incredible need in Drupal. Some of them are free, some of them are not. Let's take a look. Let's start with Acquia, the biggest Drupal company in the world. They have a product called Site Studio. Unfortunately, you need to be on Acquia's hosting to use it. And so, of course, there's a fair amount of expense there, especially if you're a small site or a small company. You're probably not going to be able to afford that because it's actually pretty expensive. But how expensive? We don't know because they don't tell us until you sign up for our demo. The next one is from Media Current, and it's a similar product. This is an entire distribution of Drupal that includes a drag and drop page editor that is, again, pretty promising. If you watch the video here at mediacurrent.com, you can see how it works, and it's actually pretty cool. But of course, again, they don't give any pricing on their website. Another one is from A10 Design, and it incorporates the Mercury Editor. The Mercury Editor, very similar to what Acquia and Media Current offer, and you can see on the screen a quick demo of it, and it's actually very, very impressive. But once again, there's no pricing information here, and you probably, I'm guessing, need to be an A10 development customer. So those are the three big ones where we really don't know how much it costs. Stacks is another option. It is an open source module in Drupal. The downside to this one is there's a lot of development still required, and it's not just drag and drop. You actually have to write some code. So if you're a site builder that's not comfortable with that, well, then this probably isn't for you. And as you can see, at the time of this recording, only 138 sites are reporting using stacks. So probably not a good option if you're a site builder. All right. Let me focus in on two that are actually pretty good options if you're a site builder that doesn't do code. DXPR, Drupal for Marketers, is both a theme and a page builder that's been put together by a company that rebranded a few years ago from Super Themes to DXPR. They actually do have pricing. It's $30 a month per site per user. $20 per month per additional site license, or they can build a site. So if you have 10 Drupal sites that you have and you want to license this for, and you're the only user, then it's $210 a month. And that's actually pretty reasonable. If you want to add a user, it's $220 a month and so on. But again, pretty nice pricing model here. It's, it, it's affordable and it will grow with you as you grow your company. And obviously, you can try the live demo just by signing up and they'll give you a sandbox. It's instant. And I did this. I got an email a couple of days later 
just asking me what I thought and how much I'd actually be willing to pay for it if I didn't like the current pricing model. That's actually pretty handy. It's a very polished product and it'll get you started in page building for Drupal without having to install a whole bunch of things. The last one I want to highlight is Provis. Provis is an open source product from Promise Source, which is a pretty large developer based up in Chicago, Illinois. And the nice thing, what they've done, and again, this is a page built with their page building product, it uses Layout Builder and adds a ton of components to it. So essentially, you're turning on Layout Builder and you can click and drag pre built components onto the page, and they can build a page that looks like this. You can sign up for a demo. But what's great about what Promise Source has done, it's available for free on GitHub. This is the only company I've found that's open sourced their advanced layout builder technology. That's really tremendous. Now, I'm not including Paragraphs or even Gutenberg in this list because technically they're not page builders, they're editors, and you can decide for yourself there what you want to use. So I know this has been a bit of a longer video as we've gone through the different page builders and what's available in Drupal. As a site builder, you're going to get pretty frustrated here. Layout builders are really hard to configure on your own. You have a ton of additional modules to add. You have a lot of CSS to write. And so getting layout builder to where you want it on your own is pretty tough. These companies have come along and said, let's fill this need. Out of all of those, Promet Source is the only one that has offered it up as an open source project that's actually really easy to install and really easy to implement. DXPR offers probably a slightly more polished product at this point, but you're paying $30 a month per site per user. And all of the others, I don't know how much they cost because you have to sign up for a demo to find out. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching today. I hope this has been helpful. Drupal page layouts are tough for a marketer, but we've got some options now, and that's really awesome. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. We release a new video every week. Subscribe, like, hey, it helps us out. We'll see you next time.